This video is going to cover how to clean a stone patio or a patio with stone on it as well as actually I cleaned all my stone. So here's a wall cap and it has sooty mildew on it from I'm under some pine trees and uh, the patio in general is pretty filthy. It's got five or six years worth of buildup on it. So I'm using a 2400 PSI uh, pressure washer that I rented and that's just showing the different types of nozzles. I didn't use the smallest orifice, I used the second smallest. And this is just showing that you can spin that and adjust it as needed so the different angles that you spray at, just bend down and spin that thing and, it'll, and then if you want to fan left or fan up and down it's easy to adjust. I ripped the skin right off the back of my hand reaching down to move something while I was still pressure washing. This stuff's incredibly powerful. That happened in about a half a second. So be very careful. So here we go. Um, this is just removing the, um, the grime that's built up over a few years. Now one of the things I'd say is um, start this off and then see how close you need to be with the given orifice you have on the end of that wand and um, and if you need to get closer to really blow something off because you need a little more pressure then just move the head closer and closer but you also don't want to leave patterns um, that are visible uh, for using the way the way that you use the wand so be aware of that too see how I'm getting pretty close here there's sap on the top of this wall here and so I found that I needed to get really close to um, get those see those yellow bits there but that thing would peel that sap right off of there so pretty amazing what you can get done with these pressure washers I've used a stronger one in the past but I've, and, and I actually, the other one is a 3000 PSI and I'd recommend that one for this job actually. I found I, this took a bit longer than the first time I used a stronger one. And um, you know, the, the thing, oh, this is actually good too. So I cleaned the patio as well as the stone. This is an exposed aggregate patio with a stone band. And there you can see one pass and how much of a difference it made in the stone as well as the aggregate. And there's a nice before picture. You can see some of the stone as well as the aggregate patio. Aggregate patio really holds dirt. Um, concrete in general is fairly porous, so if you're under trees or some in a shady side of the house, you'll find that those areas will really hold grime and you know maybe mold or moss and this pressure washer is a great non-toxic way to clean things up. Um, see the top of that wall where I started how black it was? I had some plants and there's the after shot. That area right there took about an hour by the way just to kind of gauge time. So the patio is super clean, the stones clean and I won't need to do this again for another few years. There we go. Quite a difference. Huh? Looks like brand new. So pretty cool what you can do in a couple of hours and um, there's a lot of ways to use the pressure washer and again I just rented this. So that is uh, using a pressure washer to clean your stone patio. It's non-toxic, it's fast and uh, just be a little careful about how you use that thing. You can overdo things and you can also if you have soft stone peel the stone right off so be careful about that too. Enjoy.